Is there anything Skyrim mods can do? Well, they can fix my relationship with my parents, but other than that, everything is possible. Embarking into DLC-sized adventures, wreaking havoc with new weapons and spells, even leaking someone's armpit, you can do it all. Today, however, I want to try something a bit different, something more immersive, more in line with my way of living. Therefore, I went ahead and installed every poop-related mod I could find. Yep, it's gonna be one of those videos. I'm gonna try and beat the main quest as quickly and efficiently as possible, while I'm constantly shitting and farting, covered in everyone else's organic matter. Better not be eating for this one, it's gonna be pretty bad. But without any further ado do, it's time to enter the world of Skyrim with a bad case of diarrhea. I began the adventure by creating my beautiful character. You're probably wondering why I installed the alternate start mod instead of going through the iconic intro sequence. Well, you see, it's all because of a little mod called Immersive Seizures and Diarrhea. This makes every human NPC, including us, fall on the floor shitting and yelling in pain. Yeah, I know, it's very realistic. The timing on that is random and cannot be controlled in any way. This completely broke the intro, as by the time the carrots reached Helgen, everyone had yeeted themselves into oblivion, screaming and pooping everywhere. So I made my character as handsome as I possibly could and gave him a fitting name. If you don't know who Nick Bate is, consider yourselves lucky. For those who do know, the reason will become clear soon enough. I woke up in Whiterun, grabbed a few provisions from my house and ventured into the city. It was a mess already, everyone was screaming, farting and shitting, including me. <laughs> Everything was going as planned. Before traveling to Helgen, I picked up some poop, because they were vital for the challenge I was undertaking. You see, I was raw dog in my playthrough, which meant no smithing, no fancy spells and potions, no side quests, but most importantly, no healing of any kind. The poop I consumed would help me with that, as it restored a single point of health when eaten. I don't think it works that way in real life, but regardless, let's go to Helgen. The mesmerizing sounds of farting filled my ears, all thanks to the mods I had installed. Fartfall made a farting sound whenever I was dropping from a high place and irritable bowel syndrome made my character let out a thunderous fart every once in a while, blowing everything apart and making all NPCs flee in terror, which was completely understandable given the situation. Anyway, reaching Helgen, I caught a glimpse of Alduin flying away, learned what happened and entered the fort for some loot. That was where one of the many problems of the immersive diarrhea mod reared its ugly head. If you start spazzing out during an animation or a special camera placement, you're gonna be stuck with a weird camera after your diarrhea ends, which most of the time means you're fucked. Thankfully, I was able to save myself from the locked up camera, so I left Helgen, warned Riverwood of a dragon threat and entered Dragon's Reach to talk to Jarl Bolin about the whole situation. I may have knocked everyone out with my farting while shitting myself due to Balgroof's immense presence, but overall it went pretty well I think. I got rewarded and had a nice talk with Farangar about his stupid tablet. He was very far away from me during our talk though, I wonder why. Oh well, off to Bleak Falls Barrow. Still rocking my useless imperial armor and iron mace, I went up some stairs, then rolled down those same stairs while pooping everywhere and eventually reached the old ruin. Despite my crippling disability, dealing with the bandits went better than expected. They wouldn't attack me while I was having an episode, and sometimes they would also fall over, I guess out of pity. Inside the temple, I sneak archered and bonk my way through with minimal resistance. Sure, sometimes my farts would give away my position, but the bandits had Siri AI and a spastic colon, allowing me to emerge victorious. Plus, I had a nice stockpile of my poop to munch on whenever I took a hit. The skiver poop was unfortunately diseased though, so I don't know why I picked it up in the first place. 
In any case, the spider boss was appropriately teased, Arvel was killed before he even had the chance to poop his pants and the Draugr were easily dealt with, even though one of my farts knocked down some oily pots and caused a massive fire to break out. Even the Overlord was no problem for my gamer skills, Dragonstone in hand, I had a celebratory bout of diarrhea and returned to Whiterun for my next quest. Oh no, a dragon was attacking the nearby watchtower! The news proved to be too much for Delphine, who fell immediately and emptied her colon in fear. Not me though, as I asserted my dominance over the Jarl, refreshed my poop stockpile and went on to kill the flying lizard. Well, to be honest, I let Irileth and the guards do most of the heavy lifting. What could I do? I was just a squishy little goblin, using default gear and my poop to sustain myself. I was scared shitless, but after a few hundred arrows, the beast was defeated and I vored its soul out of its body. Returning to Whiterun, I gazed in horror as the city was in ruins. There was shit and random stuff knocked over by my farts everywhere. But it didn't matter, I saved the day and the greybeards were calling for me. So I humbly accepted the Jarl's reward by taking a massive dump in front of him, grabbed Lydia and some steel armor and began the long journey to High Hrothgar. The road was fraught with peril and excitement as I battled against wolves, spriggans and necromancers with a smile on my face. Also, the camera locked up after one of my pooping sessions so I had to load an earlier save. But after a lot of walking and farting, I finally managed to reach the mountain. The climb was surprisingly uneventful, despite my irritatingly constant brown explosions. Even the frost troll was no match for us. Yeah, Lydia and I were the perfect team, as we were both shitting ourselves and farting our way to victory. In the monastery, the greybeards taught me everything about shitting and farting out of both my mouth and asshole. I followed their example diligently and learned more about the ways of the brown voice. Yes, I know what you're thinking. Why didn't I use the fart shouting mod? It's perfect. Well, I couldn't find it for the legendary edition. Yes, I still haven't gotten the special edition yet. You have a problem with that, fuckers? Okay then, let's move on to Ustengraf and the Horn, alright? There was a lot of rumbling and tumbling with the bandits, but thankfully my ass saved my ass and I was able to defeat them. Inside the ruin, Lydia and I enjoyed a quick diarrhea break and laid waste to all the bandits and Rogor inside. Yes, I was using a stealth archer build and Lydia as my backup. If you think it was easy mode, keep in mind that I could barely heal myself and I emptied my bowels every few minutes at best, every few seconds at worst. I learned a new word of power which gave me some bad indigestion and the spiders kicked my ass a few times. Eventually, I prevailed, only to find out the horn I was supposed to get for the greybeards was stolen by everyone's beloved character, Delphine. Listening to her speak was worse than my constant bouts of diarrhea. I let a few ones rip to really let her know how I feel about her bullshit. We agreed to meet at Kynes Grove to kill a dragon, so I can prove I'm dragonborn, even though it's already a fact. But first, I had to sell some stuff. As I was visiting Whiterun to do that, I dealt with some cultists and one of the guards did the unthinkable. Here, this is for you. <laughs> Going to cry now, huh? He farted right at me and made fun of me. Must have been the farts of Skyrim mod, making every NPC fart occasionally with special dialogue. I've never felt so offended in my life. Kynes Grove wasn't better either. It was snowing, I had a terrible stomach ache, and Salokneer made fun of my eating habits. Luckily, Lydia and Delphine had my back while I was too busy doing… you know what. The immersive diarrhea mod was becoming quite cumbersome actually, as it was slowing my progress considerably, while the constant farting was drowning out every other sound in the game. At some point, I kid you not, a fly rested on my monitor in real life. Shit was getting real, and I had to tackle one of my least favorite parts of the game, the Falmer Embassy. That whole quest was an utter disaster, to say the least. So I was supposed to go to Solitude and meet with Malborn to give him my equipment, right? But the problem was, as soon as I went through the city gates, everyone was hostile against me. 
It looked like I was to be executed, not Rogvir. I didn't have any bounty and I couldn't surrender either. Not even the power of my farts could hold the guards for long. With my options limited, I did the only thing I could. I ran straight to Malborn, avoiding everyone, giving him everything down to my clothes, then running off to meet Delphine. There was a small issue though. The guards were still after me and I was completely defenseless. Thankfully though, for once in her pathetic life, Delphine was useful, killing the guards and letting me proceed with the quest. However, things didn't go exactly as planned. As soon as I entered the carriage, I had a bad case of diarrhea. When the ride ended, I found myself inside the Thalmor embassy. The power of my involuntary flatulence had helped me skip the whole party section. Pretty cool, but I still had to find my gear and the documents. Talking to Malborn was out of the question, since the door was locked. I did manage to retrieve my equipment though, which was nice. What wasn't nice though, was that I was stuck in a small room with many Thalmor agents. I was underpowered, my poop stash was low, and I kept shitting myself uncontrollably every few seconds. It was infuriating, and I died several times. Eventually though, after many retries, my spastic colon finally shut up long enough for me to deal with all the enemies and grab the documents I needed. Malborn died with a quest marker above his head, but at least I saved Etienne from the dungeon. Finally escaping the embassy, Lyria and I reunited with Delphine and showed her the documents, which proved without a shadow of a doubt how much of a bozo she was. But at least we gained the opportunity to find Esbert, a much better character than Shiri Delphine. Time to visit Skyrim's wretched hive of scum and villainy. Riften was interesting. Maul tried to intimidate me, but I didn't budge. Well, my asshole budged, but that didn't matter. Brynjolf wanted me to do him a little favor in exchange for Esbern's whereabouts. It didn't go very well. I kept losing my shit and my terrible gas would make everyone flee in terror. I couldn't wait either for some reason, so things were slowly falling apart. After many tries, I managed to plant Madesi's ring into Brand Say's pockets and I moved on to the rat way. Things went better than expected there. Everyone was too busy emptying their bowels or fleeing from my noxious farts, so I easily dispatched all the lowlifes and the Thalmor and met up with Esbert. We took a while to finally talk because our spastic colons took turns setting us into a brown frenzy, but eventually we got all the exposition out of the way, killed some Thalmor from behind the locked door, fled the tunnels, returned the golden claw because why not? and met up with Delphine for even more exposition. All this was way too much for my intestines to handle, but I gathered up my strength and some poop and traveled with a team to Carvespire to locate Alduin's wall. Oh boy, what a hot mess that was. My initial attempts went fine, my buddies defeated the dragon on their own and I killed off most of the Forsworn, but got nailed by one of their mages and had to retry. My next attempts were a disaster, as I was fighting for my life against the Forsworn, a dragon and a fucking Hagraven, while constantly shitting myself, with my companions nowhere to be found. I swung my mace and cleansed my butt as best as I could, and emerged victorious from the shit show and entered the ancient temple. Carved Spire itself was nothing special. I barely fought anyone anyway, my colon was too busy and my companions were too hungry for blood to take prisoners. I tried navigating the traps as delicately as I could, but my ass betrayed me and I got blasted to oblivion. Thankfully my second attempt was much smoother, so I opened the seal with my brown dragonborn blood and we went into the temple to subject ourselves to S. Burns lecture. Nothing could face him, not even my ear-splitting farting. He was just too determined to tell us about how Alduin was defeated. Apparently, I needed to shout at him with my mouth instead of my butthole and he would crumble like a tower of cards. Donning my Weeaboo Blades Armor cosplay, I went to the Greybeards and finally gave them the horn they needed a couple of quests ago. I stole some of her poop though by accident, so I had to get out and return to stop them from annihilating me with her ice-cold farts. They blasted me with their voice, I blasted them with mine, and I officially became Dragonborn. 
However, they didn't want to help me learn Dragon Rend, the shout that would defeat Alduin. But fortunately, Arndzir had a little schizophrenic episode and changed his mind about the whole situation. He taught me a new shout and I climbed to the top of the mountain to talk to Parfnax, the Order's leader. We all know how this went, we discussed philosophy for a while, I scared him a couple of times with my farts, but after a lot of talking and shitting, I learned that I needed to read an Elder Scroll at the top of a mountain to learn Dragon Rend from its creators. What the fuck is an Elder Scroll anyway? Maybe the bright minds at the College of Winterhold could tell me where to locate one. I tried to sneak past Faralda while her IBS was flaring up, but the door was locked, so I had no choice but to pass her stupid test. This was obviously a shakedown, but I got through all the silly formalities and talked to Urak Grosab about the matter at hand. I destroyed his library with my intestinal sinking, he gave me some books about the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim 2, Revengeance, of which I just read the titles because I'm a lazy douchebag. He got tired of my antics and directed me to some crazy guy at the edge of a map to help me with my bullshit. A swan dive and a mini horker extinction event later, I found Septimus. Clearly bewildered by my sickening aura, he started spouting some nonsense about Alftand and gave me some busted Dwemer crap. I didn't care anyway, I was just a poop producing machine that was following quest markers. So I reached my destination and prepared myself for my longest dungeon crawl yet. Right after falling off a mountain, shitting all the way down and regaining my composure, of course. While Dwemer ruins can be imposing and labyrinthian, my journey through Alfdan went pretty well considering my bowel issues. Me and Lydia were unstoppable as we plowed through any trap or robot the Dwemer threw our way. I even managed to avoid getting killed from an explosion by taking a massive shit. At some point though, my ass forced me to take a massive tumble down to the bottom of a ruin. By some miracle, I survived, but I got separated from Lydia and now every Falmer down there was alerted to my presence and wanting to fill my boy pussy with sticky snow elf semen. I stood my ground, defeated them all and proceeded to the cathedral. Nothing of note happened, it was just an endless stream of Falmer and my liquids. The Dwemer Centurion proved to be a bit of a challenge, but nothing some stealth archer action couldn't fix. I even killed some random adventurers and got a shiny new set of steel plate gear. Yeah, everything was going great, but then I had to delve into Black Ritz, a beautiful place I hated with every fiber of my being. Right off the bat, the Dwarven Sphere bullied me to no end. Then we had to fend off an entire army of Falmer and their servants. It didn't help that I could barely land an attack because I was spilling my juices non-stop. Seriously, I was taking a shit even while I was ethereal. It was insane. After many retries, I managed to push through, but I did something unforgivable. By some terrible accident, I killed Lydia with my shout. The only person I could rely on during this adventure was now dead due to my bloodlust. It was too late to turn back now, I had to live with my sin and enter the Tower of Mizark. I solved the easiest puzzle in the world and grabbed the Elder Scroll, but I wasn't happy. I had lost Lydia and I was pissed off about it. And you know what happens when you piss off a nice guy like me. That's right, I sat myself all over the place out of sorrow. There was no way I'd face Alduin on my own, so I went to Whiterun to get some new waifu material. Like any good husband, I tried beating Ufgert into submission, but Todd skyrimmed all over my face, so I had to look for an alternative. I settled with Feindel after solving the little love triangle he was involved with. I'm sure Camilla wouldn't mind if I took Feindel away from her. She had Sven to keep her company throughout these trying times. Alright, enough farting around, it was time to read the Elder Scroll at the top of the throat of the world and learn that damn dragon red sour already. Yeah, about that. Remember how I mentioned at the start of this that the immersive diarrhea mod broke the intro cutscene? Well, it broke this one too. All sorts of fun things happened. The heroes would shit themselves and refuse to progress their dialogue. They would get scared from my farts and refuse to interact with each other. 
Other times, I'd shit myself and regain control of my character. I could explore around and loot the bodies and the dragons from beyond time and space. But alas, the cutscene was still stuck. At some point, I even tried attacking and shouting at the heroes, and for a moment it seemed to be working, but Alduin didn't want to appear. I didn't know what to do. I thought that was the end of my journey, but you know what they say, if at first you don't succeed, retry so many times it becomes embarrassing. Eventually, I managed to go through the cutscene in its entirety without anyone glitching out. One small problem though, my camera was stuck. So there you have it, one of the most pivotal moments in the game and I'm stuck looking at this fucking dragon's corpse. Oh well, at least I returned to Skyrim with a shout I needed. Perfect timing too, because Alduin was there to perform a colonoscopy on my sweet Nordic rectum. Unsurprisingly, he was super easy. I just pelted him with arrows while Parfunax and Feindel did all the heavy lifting. Not even his fiery poop raining down from the sky, nor my own bowel movements could rob me of his victory. But of course he flew off to Sovereign Guard like the coward he is, and I had to track him down and finish him off for good. Only one of his dragons knew such information though, so I had to trap one of them in Whiterun and interrogate him. Unfortunately, Jarl Balgruf would only agree to my plan if the Imperials and Stormcloak signed a peace treaty. Oh yeah, it's time for everyone's favorite story quest, the negotiations. I thought this whole farce was unbearable in vanilla Skyrim, but with my mods it became even worse. Every few seconds I'd go into a diarrhea fit that fucked everything up. Then I would fart loudly and scare everyone away from the table, forcing me to wait for them to return and continue their conversation. Luckily, I could wait on the spot again, which made things less painful, but still it felt like driving an old beaten up car that would stall every few miles on the road. To add insult to injury, none of them shut themselves to make the situation more amusing. After an excruciatingly long amount of time had passed, the negotiations were finally over and we captured the dragon Oravig by calling out to him and dropping an anvil at his head, Looney Tune style. We chatted for a while and he agreed to take me to Skoldathan to enter the other world. I stilled my resolve and filled my inventory to the brim with poop and got ready to face my biggest challenge yet. As soon as I landed at the ancient ruin, I had to hit the ground running. There were dragons and Draugr everywhere, all wanting to get a piece of my thoroughly stained by now ass. Lots of running and lots of avoiding arrows and dragon fire, all while fending off Draugr and having my colon being a terrible asshole to me. Yeah, the immersive diarrhea mod had outstayed its welcome for a while now. It really was not enjoyable trying to aim my bow or attack, only to be ragdolled for half a minute every few seconds. It was infuriating. I wasted almost half my poop supply to survive this onslaught. But eventually, using the power of cheese, quick saving and running like a Thalmor bitch, I managed to get inside. The temple itself was actually way easier than I expected. Just a few dragger, spiders and lame puzzles were standing in my way. Despite my ass trying its best to ruin my sneaking efforts, I still destroyed everyone with ease. Even the overlord was no match for the power of a sneak archer. But what about the dragon priest guarding the entrance to Sovereign Guard? Yeah, I ran past him. I was not in the mood for his shit. I was way too deep in my shit for that shit. And with that, we've reached the game's finale. Soon tried to greet me, but my IBS pissed him off and he came at me swinging. Luckily, I caught him with his pants down and his bowels lacking and easily passed his test of worthiness. The Hall of Valor was beautiful, but reeked of freshly emptied ass, so I just grabbed my homies and together we farted Alduin's mist away. He came down to handle business himself, but I was there to kick ass and chew bubblegum and my asshole burned like hell. The final boss fight wasn't very exciting, to be honest with you. I just hung back and shot him with arrows like a pussy, while everyone else was all up in his face. But once again, my contribution was 80% shitting, 20% actually fighting. Didn't matter anyway, as I delivered the final blow and defeated Alduin forever. 
I return to Skyrim as Nick Bait, the Dragonborn champion who saved the world from the clutches of utter destruction. My colon was finally empty, my teeth remained surprisingly intact and I had no other unspeakable for YouTube charges to my name. It was finally over. Man, that sure was one of the Skyrim challenge runs of all time. If you suffer from constipation, I hope this video helped you in some capacity. Otherwise, it was a miserable experience full of farting and shitting, with the game slapping me on the wrists every few seconds. I wouldn't recommend it unless it's your fetish or something. In any case, that's all from me today. I'm gonna fill my belly with meat now and try to overcome my newly acquired fart PTSD. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, leave a like if you did, comment your thoughts below and subscribe for more stuff, you know how it goes. You can also support me on Patreon or become a channel member for early access to my videos and other perks. Have a great day and until next time, take care and have fun!